for the FTC Brown Coats high school, well, yeah, high school, middle school robotics team. We compete under the first program. FTC is for students from approximately 7th grade to 12th grade. We have from 12 year olds to 17 year olds this year. This challenge is called Velocity Vortex by Siobhan. The first part of the challenge is 30 seconds of autonomous. Uh, no, um, so during autonomous, their goal is to start on one of these walls, depending on which team they're on. There's red and blue alliance of two teams, randomly chosen. And they have to cross the field to these beacons and find the one that's lit their particular color. After that, everybody stops, they check the scores, and begin the teleop, which is two and a half minute and a half. Um, during teleop, they scoop up these balls and put them in the correct side. And this thing might get moved during competition if a robot bumps it. The other thing they can do is score by rolling up these ramps. Um, can you do that again, robot? Oh, I actually did it wrong. Scoring up the ramps. Um, there are only three balls of each color on the field, so it's a mad dash this year to scoop them up. At the end, we go into end game. The last 30 seconds, there are high value tasks that if you do them early, you get penalized. This year, the high value task is to pick up this cat ball and put it in here and you have 30 seconds to get that done. This is 50 inches. The really challenging part is that every robot at the beginning of the match has to fit in an 18 inch cube. So it has to grow to get here. Hmm. All right, my name is Joseph Wilson. No, my name is Joseph. I'm one of the programmers. Right now I think our general idea is we're trying to have the robot be able to do everything. I'm John, I'm the team captain and the head builder. So my job is to make sure everybody else is working together with each other. Let me talk to you a little bit about this robot. So the challenge this year is to take these balls and score them in a high goal so we have a flywheel to shoot them up. And So we have this super-powered nice. harvester, picks up the balls, and then as soon as it's at the top of this channel, the flywheel spins up and shoots it out. And then because we have this shelf liner, it gets a backspin to stabilize the ball. Other parts of the competition are the autonomous, which is a 30-second period where the robot drives itself and there are goals in that period where if you press a button on a beacon you get points so we have a a smart button pusher that pushes the button on the beacon and it also activates this touch sensor to stop the robot so it doesn't damage the field so right now we have color sensors and touch sensors and then we probably have a gyro sensor so we can figure out where the robot needs to be all right. So it can help navigate during autonomous. I'm Ian, um, and I'm coding the drive control software, which during the tally up phase takes um, controller inputs and turns them into actual um, commands that the motors can read and then use. 
I'm Tala. I'm the sword head programmer. Mostly I'm in charge of the autonomous phase of the match. So right now I'm trying to get the robot to move on its own without getting hopelessly lost. So these are mechanum wheels. If you take the ones on the same side and they drive towards each other, the robot will drive sideways. Which is pretty cool. I'm not using it much because it messes up the encoders that I'm using. It keeps track of how many turns the motor has made. Which okay. makes getting it to move on its own a lot easier. Um, you put the program that you want to run on this one, and then this other one has a similar matching program that's provided to us, and you can use it. You get these drop down menus, and it's, you pick which program you want to run. Nice. And then this phone gets connected to the controller. Which one are you going to draw? They, they have two drivers because they've got so many attachments that one person with one controller can't handle it all. <laughs> oh, do you let the bun cup? Thank you. Can't you just count? Can't you just competing at Hampton Cove? Can't you just competing at Hampton Cove Middle School on January 21st at 10.30 in the morning?